Hi, welcome back to Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. How we doing, people? Well, today's video is about um, underrated DC books. So right now, the hype is all on Marvel, which is the best time to go look at DC and see what you can find for a bargain before they get hot. So uh, I chose like five books that these are that I'm actually interested in. one of them I owned but let's start off with um, DC Comics presents number 26 now oops oh no I did not want to do that okay here we go so it's the first appearance of Cyborg Raven and Starfire so that's the cover pretty cool cover interesting um if you look at the cover you would not okay so it says an extra special free 16 page preview of the new teen titans so i guess that's her cameo appearance or maybe it's her first appearance but the important thing is it's the first appearance of cyborg raven and starfire so you know, a 9.8 for the fair market value, you know, give or take, it's like $1,200 for three iconic characters. Most people know about Teen Titans because of the cartoons, and that's pretty much it. So, you know, when you say Cyborg, if you say Teen Titans, they will know Cyborg, Raven, and Starfire. So to get a book like this with three first appearance characters as a bargain let's just say you don't even get a raw right so they're showing in a 9.6 to a 9.0 about two to three hundred dollars 354 let's just say two to four so usually if you have a when you start developing a good eye for collecting comics you probably should be able to get a raw copy anywhere between 150 to 250 that could easily place you up to a 9.4 to a 9.6, maybe even a 9.8, you know, for around close to five, because the bidding might go up that high. And that's just a raw book. Or you can just, you know, shell out 500 and get anywhere up to like a 9.6 or a 9.4 in that area. So it all depends on, you know, you just saving up your money and making this a priority and then you just wait you know you just on ebay you can do a saved search and have them i believe they could they'll hit you up every time a new listing is posted so i have that on, on like for like x-men and some other things so it's a good way to keep track of things i believe it's ebay yeah sure it's ebay so this book to me, it's so undervalued because DC is going to get their act together. And even though they have the Teen Titans show, you know, most prices don't really get out of hand until a movie hits. So when that first movie, when they first drop that idea or the trip, not the trailer, but once it's confirmed that they're doing a Teen Titan movie, this book is going to explode. So this is your chance to get it before it gets out of hand, which brings me to the uh, next book, which I actually own a copy. Omega Man 3, the first appearance of Lobo. Now, I think I bought this, this book for like 40 bucks, 35 or 40 bucks, about, I don't know, probably like anywhere between five to 10 years ago, give or take. And it's a really nice condition. So, you know, Lobo is one of these characters that he hasn't hit the big screen. There, there's always rumors, but I think they they might give him a series on Warner Brothers. But. They're really trying to catch up with uh, Disney Plus, and they need to start doing series like that with better stories. Because, you know, I couldn't get into Teen Titans. I mean, 
I tried to watch it, and the whole F Batman thing, I was just like, whatever, I'm done. And apparently a lot of people felt the same way, because um, the first appearance of Raven and, and Cyborg and Starfire are still really low. Same thing with uh, Lobo, but Lobo's for a different reason. Like, you can buy a 9.8 for, like, $300. And there's there's there was, like, a rumor at one point that Lobo might be, before they canceled everything, you know, a candidate, a villain for um, Superman. Same thing with Brainiac that never fell through. So this book has a lot of growth, and it's one of those things where if you get it once a movie hits or he makes a poop uh, appearance in a in a movie, then you're gonna um, pay for the hype, and then it's gonna drop, and then it's gonna take a while for you to get back what you put into the book, and then you're just gonna watch its value go steadily up. Okay. And so these books I'm showing you, they're always they're always going to go up in value. It's just depending on how quick and will they maintain that value. I feel that if they can do a good movie with uh, Teen Titans, that whatever value that it jumps up to, even though it will drop a little bit, it will still maintain, I'll say 60% in my opinion, of its value. If it's a good series. But if it's not, then it's going to drop and now you... I don't want to say overpaid, but it's going to be a while before that book reaches back to what you put into it. So it's one of these these things, one of these things, keep saying that. It's a, it's a situation that you don't want to find yourself into because you'll feel bad about it. Like I remember when I was chasing certain books and, and trends, which I really don't do that much anymore. I, I'm, I'm collecting books that I really like, and that's where I'm at right now in collecting. But when you first get into comic book collecting, you'll be like, oh, I gotta collect this, gotta get this, gotta get that. And you're just running around, and, and it's exhausting. And you got that FOMO feeling, and you're constantly feeling like you're messing out. Because guess what? You're going to miss out. I mean, that's just a fact. There's just too much stuff out there. That if you are now a um, new comic book collector, you can't keep up with all that stuff. Even even books under 100 is a hard time. So I'm just showing you some books that really have potential. And we'll have a small bump when a movie's announced and should maintain some of that value. But even if they don't, just know that it's always going to be a nice little climb. Uh Real quick, go back to Lobo. I mean, Lobo. Um, yeah, I'm so glad they changed his outfit. And this cover is so ridiculous. I'm like, what the hell? But let's move on to a not-so-what-the-hell ridiculous cover. I have Wonder Woman 160. Now, I had to go look this up in a couple of... I had to look this up on... Um, Overstreet Price Guide to confirm this, but uh, this is the first appearance of Catwoman in the Silver Age. And even though it goes comics Golden Age, you know, uh, Golden Age is from 1938 to 1956. And this, this book is in 1966. So even though at the time they said comics Golden Age, I think, I don't know what point they went back, but they did go and break it up. So there's that. But I do like the artwork on here. It's classic Wonder Woman art. I mean, that cheetah artwork, the colors, it's just so bold. I mean, the whole comic book just, you know, just it's like boom. It's like in your face. And uh, the return of Dico, uh, Dr. Psycho. So uh, don't really know about Dr. Psycho. But it's a great cover. And this is a book you can get for a silver age for like under 2500 for a 9.8. So probably like close to 25 to 300 or 2000 to 300, depending on if they uh, put it for auction. Maybe it doesn't go up that high. 
but you can get a raw copy of a book that's like six to eight for like under five you know actually be like two to two to three hundred you can probably get up to like a seven five so this is a book that you know the first appearance of cheetah is wonder woman 160 and you know that could just be a hard find to begin with so that book you know it's probably at a lot of price ranges but getting a raw copy for like 200 and maybe you get anywhere between a four and up to a 6.0 depending on the condition that's worth it i mean this is something all these books right here that i put up are books that i'm interested in getting so that's what i'm, I'm, I'm talking about i'm like all right i already got omega Band. i mean i already got lobo i am thinking about you know getting uh cheetah and um even though it doesn't say here on cgc so right now you have an 8.5 for like 900. I think that's a little bit overpriced. Man, what, what grade is that? An 8.5. All right, 8.5 for 900. The average sale is between, you know, five and seven. So that's just somebody with a, still trying to hold on to the um, the movie hype. I'll just click on that real quick so um all this says is cheetah and dr psycho so they don't really even acknowledge that it's a um second appearance and you know i'm hoping down the line cgc and all the other comic book graders companies will start acknowledging uh first appearance in the silver age because that's important for people to know and it's also important for you to do your own research. So, you know, I had, like I said, I had to look that up. I had to verify it before I claim this as a fact. But in my opinion, this is a fact. So, you know, always do your own research. So the next book is uh, Green Lantern number seven. Now, now from this point, <laughs> everything's getting uh, super pricey. But I'm looking to get, you know, anywhere between a... a a three to five condition but if you look at this cover here um you can't even tell this is even about sinestro so you know featuring a power charge adventure the day 100,000 people vanished i mean if i would have saw that as a kid i'd be like oh this is cool yeah I, I gotta look at this so we know 9.8 is out of most people. Uh, even anything in the nines is out of range for most people. Uh, as soon as it gets to like 9.0, maybe you can get it for like six or seven grand. But, you know, that's a big, big chunk of change. And the reason why Sinestro is, if you can look at uh, this universal chart over here where it's like, you know, going up, and then this is probably around when, uh, like, movies, and, and now it's just dropping and dropping and dropping, because there's no hype about the character. So, this is when you want to buy these books. So, to have a shot at Sinestro, and I was talking like a 2.0 to 5, that's doable. You know, the 400 range to, you know, 800 is a doable range to get one of these books because all you're trying to do is get the get the copy that you can afford and for other people you know it might be this you know 4.0 to to maybe a six where they can drop 600 to a grand on a book and maybe get lucky and get it a six you know and the last book is a book I definitely want to get because I do love the cover on this is Poison Ivy. Now she's been in a movie and that movie tanked so bad, but still she's a very popular character. Um, at one point, uh, Birds of Prey was supposed to have a sequel. It didn't. So if they would have done a sequel, there could have been a good chance that Poison Ivy shows up. She's going to make it back into the movies. And her 
her price is going to go up. Again, I'm not looking to get it at a 9.0, excuse me, because that's just out of my price range, you know, like, I think once it hits a 9.4, it's only like, you know, like high rollers in the comic books who have that kind of cash who are dropping that. The majority of us right here are going to be in this range. Um, the four to 600. So you can get, you know, depending on what you save and what you can do in an auction, maybe you can get a 4.0 or 4.5 or maybe even a 5.0. Yeah, I'll bring up this image while I'm wrapping this up. So this is my um, five comic books that I'm interested in getting for DC before they go up, whether it's movies or whatever the hype is. And I thought I'd share these uh, thoughts with you and let you know what I'm interested in. And when it comes to DC, these are the style of books that you should be looking at. You know, what what has what has dropped in hype you know um who knows maybe they, they will do a scene where jason todd dies in the movie they kind of hinted at it with um some of the latest dc movies but they never really did anything and the moment that they do have a flashback scene that book's gonna sleep see a slight jump but then again it's gonna drop because unless they do a movie dedicated to it which I doubt, because they still have a hard time even introducing uh, Robin all this time. But that's my thought, people. I hope you enjoyed this video of uh, my top five DC underrated books. If you're new to the channel um, and you're enjoying the content, uh, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know what your uh, DC sleeper books that you're um, have on your list on your grail list because these are the books that I want to get and hopefully starting next year I'll have at least one more of these um, if I'm thinking if I have to pick it would be uh, in this order it'd be poison ivy and if I can't get that then I'll probably jump over to uh, DC comics present so I can get the Teen Titans um, I already have Omega Man uh, you can kind of lay off uh, the Silver Age Cheetah for a bit. I don't see her coming back or anything. Same thing with uh, Sinestro. But I think the two hot books out of this list are um, Poison Ivy and the Teen Titans. Because if you don't get these now, these books are going to keep rising and you'll get to a point where you can't even afford a 1.0. So before it gets to that point, and you can get your 4 to a 6.0. Um, make plans. Try to get these books now. Without a do it, people. Catch you next video. Take care.